Hi, welcome back. It's me, Scientist Kate. This is Kindergarten Sunlight and Weather, Lesson 1.4, Weather and Playgrounds, Part 1. For this lesson, you don't need any materials. All you need is an excited science brain. Are you ready to do some investigating? Great, let's go. Okay, do you remember the last lesson you did with Ms. Diaz? Remember that we're working as weather scientists to help solve a problem. Look at these pictures. One shows Carver Playground and one shows Woodland Playground. Let's review the playground problem. Do you remember the letters that the principals sent us about the different temperatures on their different playgrounds? Great. We're going to do some investigation today to see if we can answer the chapter one question. What is the weather like on the playgrounds? So we are trying to describe the weather so that we can help solve the playground problem that the principals are having. Check this out. This is weather data that was sent to us by the principal of Carver Elementary School. Now, data is a really cool science word. It means information that we collect and we study and we try to understand during an investigation. So this shows a calendar. Do you see the days of the week? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And these numbers represent the dates. This is the first of the month, the second of the month, the third of the month, and so on. So we have two full weeks of weather data here for Carver Playground. Great. Now check this out. This is the weather data for Woodland Elementary School's playground. You can see it's the same calendar. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and all the rest of the days of the week for two whole weeks so we can see what the weather conditions were. Do you remember what this weather condition is that I'm circling? Yeah, this is sunny weather. What about this one that I'm circling? Yeah, that's cloudy weather. Do you remember what this symbol means that I'm circling? Yeah, that's windy weather. And what about this one right here? What picture is this? Yeah, that's rainy weather. Great. So here we have both of the different schools weather data. It's hard to tell how many days it was sunny, cloudy, windy, rainy, or snowy. So here's what scientists do. Scientists sometimes organize their data so that they can see it better and they can understand it better and they can help make sense out of it. And since we are scientists, right, we are going to organize our data. Are you ready? Great. All right, check this out. This is called a graph. Have you ever heard of a graph before? Have you ever seen one? This is big time science. Scientists use graphs all the time. So since we are scientists, we are going to use this graph to help us organize the data about the weather happening at Carver Elementary School first. So let's just check out the parts of the graph. Are you ready? Look over at this graph picture that you see on your screen. At the top, it says Carver Playground Weather Graph. That's the title of the graph, and it tells us what the graph is about, just like the title of a book tells us what, the, what a book might be about. Now check out these pictures across the bottom. What are those? You can tell me. Yeah, those are all of the different weather conditions that we learned about in the first few lessons. Great. Now check out these numbers that are going up the side of the graph. It starts at number what? Yeah, one, and it goes up two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So our graph starts at one, and it goes all the way up to number what? Yep. 10. So these numbers show how many days there are different types of each or each type of different weather. So let's start with looking at the calendar. Let's figure out how many days there was sunny weather on the Carver playground. Are you ready to count? Show me your counting lips. Are your counting lips ready? Here's mine. I'm ready to count. Okay, count along with me. I'm going to point to each day that there's sunny weather and we're going to count up all the days. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Did you count nine with me? Awesome. Okay, let's add those nine sunny days to our weather graph. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There they are, there's our nine sunny days. Do you see how I put them on the graph? Awesome. All right, let's move on to cloudy days. Look up at the calendar and find the days that have the cloudy picture. Get your counting lips ready because we're gonna count them together. Ready? One, two, three. Do you see three cloudy days on the calendar? Great, let's add them to our graph right here. Are you ready? Get your counting lips ready. One, two, three. Did we get them all? Awesome, I'm glad you're checking up on my work. All right, now let's look for the windy days. Do you see the windy picture on the calendar? How many days do you see windy weather? Tell me. Yeah, there's one windy day. Do you see it? Okay, let's add it to the graph. One windy day. Boop, there it is. Put it on the graph. All right. What about rainy weather? Look at the playground weather calendar and see how many days you see the rainy weather picture. Okay, tell me out loud. How many days? Yeah, one day. There's one rainy day symbol on the calendar. So let's add that to the graph. Are you ready? Boop, there it is, the one rainy day. Okay, the graph also has snowy weather listed. Look at the calendar. Do you see any snowy weather pictures on the calendar? I'll give you a second to look. Yeah, no, there's no snowy day, so guess what? We're not gonna put any snowy days on our graph because there were zero snowy days. Okay, now do you think you get how to do a graph? Awesome, are you ready to do the one for Woodland Elementary School now? Yeah, I think you've got the hang of it. All right, now we're gonna count up the sunny days first again. Are you ready to count? We're looking at the calendar up here. If you wanna point to the screen and point to every single one of those sunny days as you count, that's a great idea. I'm gonna point while I count too. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine sunny days. Are you ready to add it to the calendar? Get ready to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Awesome job counting. Okay, let's move on to the cloudy weather. Ready? Let's look up at our calendar and see how many cloudy days there are. I'm not gonna count this time. I want you to count and figure out how many cloudy days there are on the calendar. Go ahead. Okay, tell me, three? I need to add three days to the calendar or to the graph over here? Awesome, one, two, three. Did I do it right? Yes, okay. Now let's look at how many windy days there are. Look up at the calendar and tell me, how many windy days do you see on the calendar? Hmm, one windy day? Should I add it to the graph? Okay. Here we go. One windy day. All right, now I want you to look for rainy days on the calendar. Do you see any? Just one? Okay, I'll add it to the graph, ready? Boop. There it is, the rainy day. Now what about snowy days? Check this calendar out and let's see if there's any snowy days at Woodland. No snowy days? Huh, just like Carver, there's no snowy days on the Woodland Playground either. So should I add anything to my graph if there are zero days? No, we're gonna leave snowy days empty. Big ol' zero. Okay, now here's what I did, check this out. I took the Carver Playground weather graph 
and the woodland playground weather graph, and I put them right next to each other so that we can compare them. Say compare. Compare. To compare means to look at two things and figure out how they're the same and how they're different. So let's compare these two uh, graphs. I'm gonna give you a second and I want you to look carefully at both of them and figure out what's the same and what's different. Are you ready? Okay, go ahead and look. Okay, are you ready to share? Awesome. What did you notice that was the same about these graphs? Awesome ideas. What did you notice that was different about these graphs? Yeah, there's not a lot that's different. It looks like Carver and Woodland had the same amount of days of sunny weather cloudy weather, windy weather, and rainy weather. Wow, that's really good information. That's really good data to have in this investigation. Okay, so let's think about what new ideas we've gotten today from this part of the lesson. Here's what I learned. Data is information collected during investigations. Did you learn that today? Great. Graphs help us organize data so that it can be understood. Wasn't it so much easier to look at and compare the two different schools once we had their weather data in a graph? I think it was. And Carver and Woodland Elementary had the same type of weather. Wow, that makes me really think about what those principals told us about the different temperatures at the playgrounds. All right. Well, that's it for lesson 1.4, Weather and Playgrounds Part 1. I'll see you right back here for Weather and Playgrounds Part 2. See you then. Bye.